Okay, round two. Why stay earthbound when prosperity awaits you in the stars? Come to Halcyon, the only colony on the edge of the frontier owned and operated by corporations. A trip of 10 short years will feel like mere minutes, thanks to the comfort and safety of your very own hibernation chamber. You'll wake up in a perfect society designed to maximize your productivity with guaranteed full employment. With only a minor term of service, you will become the master of your own destiny when you go out of this world to the Halcyon Colony. Here we go. Top secret, 1023, 2320. To the left, the edge of the pond. Rude. Hundreds of thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. Finally, Super evidence cool. of intelligent life in Halcyon. All right, uh, deranged. A gunslinger. Oh, they're going to tell stories about you from here to Hephaestus. At last, a kindred spirit. Uh, let's see. Bureaucrat. Family. Be a scientist. Well, assisting. you are technically assisting me. Good to have a scar across the eye. There it is. Keep him young. Come on. Duh. Nice. A good looking dude. Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. Please power down your engines. Not likely, bootlickers. 
Initiate skip jump. I got you just kidding me. Terra 2 Tori Halsey on the system. Static. Structural integrity down 25%. Power levels down. <sighs> He said a potty word. <laughs> ah, there you are. Wondering what's going on, eh? Bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on the Hope have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. Normally, <laughs> reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. Gross. Something wrong? Oh, yes, well, <laughs> not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see, yes? Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies, saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh! I see we're in position. Good luck! So I've been commandeered by some kind of mad scientist. That's interesting. Let's do a sound check real quick on the stream here. Can you hear me? Is this thing working? Ah, there you are. Now, uh, where were Turn we? It up oh, a yes, bit, I guess. The there smuggler. You go. His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. And not to worry, I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing, gunslinger, one of a kind ship, that sort of thing. You'll like him, I'm sure. I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm uh, all the colonists are counting on you. should be close by what uh -oh. in law's name is that him oh that idiot i told him to plant the beacon and move away not stand there holding it oh well no sense in letting his ship go to waste dude that fucking Hawthorne won't mind you head. taking his ship better you than the board huh not sure i trusted the fellow might have gone after the bounty on my head Shame about the whole squashing thing. Nasty way to go. Typical tutorial stuff. <gasps> Okay. 
checking this stuff out. So we got a viewer, what's up? Um, you don't have legs, so probably not gonna miss that. Nice kitty. What that? Bad kitty. You've What's tried up, the dude? best now. <laughs> now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, wow, that stings. All right. Sit still. I'll patch you up. Huh. Looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you one. Hope you don't mind me omitting this little exchange for my report. Spacer's choice doesn't like us accepting outside help. All right. Well, how are you feeling? Better, thanks to you. I might have bled out on my own. Or worse, had to go begging the boss for some Madrina time. We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take him. Then my gun misfired. Right through my side. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? Huh, Just so barely scraped by with my yourself. life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. Uh, what's this about marauders? Jibbering, flesh-eating, law-breaking, unemployed lunatics with guns. Some hull had grounded their spacecraft out in the open. That's a real good way to attract marauders. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? Okay. Uh, got a better idea. Give me your gun. And I'll yeah, help. okay. You look like you know your way around a gun. Got some spare ammo. Not counting the bullet in my side. Here, you can have my <laughs> saber, too. For patching me up and all. All Spacer's Choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's Choice. Yes, nailed it that time. Alright, can you tell me where I am? You hit your head or something? You're in Emerald Vale. We're a Spacer's Choice community. Edgewater's a little ways down. Uh, prettiest place in the Vale. Uh, be sure to stop by a provisioner's for a can of our famous salt tuna. Ooh. The Hope? You know anything about the Is hope? that some sort of fancy new drug? Are you with Auntie Cleo or something? Don't take this the wrong way or nothing, but I'm not allowed to fraternize with Cleo workers. Company policy. All right. Well, I'm out of here. And then, you know, pow. Got any free shit laying around? Oh, yes, you do. <coughs> free loot, free loot, free loot. Just walk in there past you. You, you got some. Uh, you got, there we go. Thanks. Yeah. Okay. Damn it, my ears! <laughs> oh, what just happened? Can you hear me? What in the hell? This. Okay, tactical time dilation. I like that. Whoa, hey, no. Gotcha. What you got? It's one of these. Fish sticks, hell yeah. Take your sword too. 
we got here? Hacking and picking locks. Skill cookie places you're not meant to be. Oh, let's break into this. Okay. I've got a telescoping staff. More bad guys? Ooh, more bad guys. Take it all? Okay. Another body. Where's the other guy? Did I kill three of them? Killed. What's up? Don't know where you came from, stranger, but you best keep your head down. There's marauders hereabouts, and worse, landing violators. Call on that rung leech. Landing in the veil without using an official spacer's choice landing pad. I'd slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about. Okay. Down one of your teammates from the cave. Yeah. I already dealt with a few of these marauders. You Not pulling impressed. my limb? I, I mean, yeah, of course. Marauders. Bunch of addle brain derelicts. I could round them up all by myself. I just, you know, need a couple of winks to catch my breath. Stretch uh -huh. my legs, son. Ooh, I could be mean. Yeah. Do Spacer's Choice guards back down from challenge? Well, sometimes. Management's real good at cost-benefit analysis. But, seeing as I'm the acting manager in this situation, you know what? You're right. It's time we cross those marauders off, find whoever owns that ship, and file a full report. Then it's gonna be fucking laminated. Here okay. we go. Let's fucking do it. Oh shit, I just made that dude explode. Waste of company ammo. Got a new gun. Well, another gun anyway. Yeah, let's get some meat. I don't need that saber. I guess I do. Whatever. Okay, there are like just chunks of this dude like everywhere. Did I miss anybody? Anybody, rather? This must be the ship. Please be informed that this vessel contains no valuable plunder. Unauthorized access of spacefaring vessels is a crime. Hello, Marauder. I am Ada, the autonomous digital astrogator of this vessel. Please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted <clears throat> solicitors. Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. All right. I guess I'm not here to misappropriate it. Rate, indicating dishonesty. Please prepare yourself for lethal deterrence. Gesture procedures initiated. Disengaging airlocks. Prepare to reject all boarding parties in five, four, three, 
Two. One. You always run the ground, here. right? My deception protocols have failed. I have been programmed to express disappointment. All right. I do need to get this shit I am here. incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. Okay. Your captain's a red smear under my escape pod. I understand. I will require some time to process this information. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? I get it. You need me to be the Captain Hawthorne or you can't well done, fly. Captain Hawthorne. I see your powers of deductive reasoning remain intact. <laughs> Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. Our main drive suffered a critical power failure, and we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged and must be replaced. Okay, and... Astutely observed. However, the probability of locating a power regulator within a worker settlement falls within acceptable parameters of certainty. High capacity power regulators are sometimes employed in the electrical networks of worker settlements. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new captain's identity cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. This cartridge identifies this time. you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and captain of the Unreliable. Do you understand? I do understand. Best of luck in your search for a power regulator. Try to stay alive this time. Okay. Alright, what are we going to level up? Level we'll up some dialogue. Level up tech. Let's be an inspiration. More handgun stuff. Dodge. Eh, let's do some more dialogue. Perks available. Nice. Uh, let's see. Big efficient transport of goods. Okay. Ooh, fast travel when encumbered. Yes, please. Let's do that. Cause uh, I like to carry shit. I'm a hoarder. Explore the ship real quick. If your equipment is in need of repair or modification, I suppose everything on the unreliable belongs to you now, Captain. Help yourself. No, really. Kind of snarky. What's this? Want to be a brand new you? <laughs> Try out our respecification machine. Alex installed it himself. Right before he died. Be right back, guys.
Alright. Let's finish exploring this ship. The ship's engines cannot be powered until a replacement regulator has been properly installed. Okay. Oh, there we go. These surveillance devices allow me to monitor you constantly. Please ignore them. Oh, is that what these are? Definitely got a steampunk kind of vibe. Ooh. These are the crew's quarters. Alex preferred to travel alone, but he always had me. That's the room I came in, that's the door I went out. Okay. Ship hashtag explored. Say, this wouldn't happen to be your ship, would it? Uh -huh. Because you sure walked in it like it was your ship. And if this ship is yours, well, mister, you owe Spacer's Choice a hefty fine. I'm afraid we gotta dock your pay. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and lie. You got it all wrong, I'm Starship Safety Inspector. Oh, by the law. I'm so sorry. I uh, had no idea we had an inspector coming. If you'd like to speak with my manager, I report to Constable Reyes in Edgewater. Edgewater's not too far. Just follow the road east of here, over past the cemetery. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to inspect the crime scene before I make my report. Must be staying off my ship, you're gonna get shot. Rotters, deserters, illegal landing. What is this colony coming to? Alright. I gotta go that way. Looks like a marauder camp up there though. I don't know, kinda wanna go kill some marauders. Uh let's see. Open my inventory. I've got it. Alright, so. Shoot there. I got to use it. Oh, assault rifle? Yes, please.
Victor assault rifle. Model spaceship. Cute. It's like this game's version of those little trucks you keep finding laying around. E man, thank you so much for the follow, Mr. Ethan. I appreciate it. Those look like security bots. What the hell is that? Some graveyards? What the fuck? Oh, hey. Where'd you come from? Came from your mom. Don't go ambling out in those hills. That's marauder territory, friend. It was. Ain't safe out here. You'd best head into town. Avail yourself of Edgewater's high walls and low, low prices. All right. Pleased to make your acquaintanceship. I'd shake your hand, but I've been hauling corpses. You don't want none of that on you. Name's Silas. Junior in humor for the town of Edgewater. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family. Okay. Definitely not the junior in humor, that's for sure. If you've got business inquiries, you should stop by Reed Thompson's office. He's up in the tower above the cannery. Head into town, follow the road. Okay. Look, you obviously ain't a worker. What's your racket? You a smuggler? Freelancer? Edgewater is a company town, board owned and operated. That includes the cemetery. None of us own our grave sites, we rent them from the company. Renting means money. Money means paperwork. Paperwork means signatures. Some of our families become a mite delinquent in paying their dues, you see. Okay. They were making people pay for their own graves. Why can't you collect these fees yourself? Let me ask about something else. Uh, let's go. You want me to collect what's owed to you? I can do that. Four workers still haven't paid up. Phyllis, Conrad, Ludwig, and Martin Abernathy. He's a special case. You may want to twist his arm a little. He just is. Look, I don't want to get into it. Just uh, make sure he pays up. Yeah, this game is pretty cool, bro. This is look, I don't want to get it. Make sure he pays up. Where can I find these people? Conrad's got a barbershop in town. Phyllis works at the cannery most hours. Abernathy... I ain't seen him in a few days. His domicile is near the cannery. You'll find him in town. All except Ludwig, that is. He's over by the landing pad. Okay. Okay. Time to go. Free shit lying around. Link. Sorry guys, I'm hungry. Pretty sure this is you get busted for stealing. Yeah, let's take a ooh, there we go. This guy eating in the toilet? In the shower? In the sink, all in one room. Yikes. All right. Is 
this choice property turn on access messages. Okay. Full range. Okay, yeah. Guess we're going in. Emerald Veil. All right, we are in the town. Hot meals, cold meals, <laughs> live music when available. Day old Zeltuna, two bits off, nice. Always go looking down dark alleys. Alright, perfect. I'm liking this music, it's a lot like, uh, what's that? Firefly. Base cowboy. Had your rations yet? Yep. Two whole cans of salt tuna. Keep your distance, friend. The sick house is no place for a traveler. I appreciate the company and all, but you really ought to leave. You don't want to be seen around me. Why not? Because I'm sick. You don't want to associate with people in the sick house. We're not worth your time. I'm in about as much trouble as I can be. No reason you ought to be tarnished by association. People are going to talk. So? The walls talk, is all. We all got sights on each other. Any of us breaks company protocol, boss is gonna hear about it from six different mouths. Maybe you don't know this, but there's a real simple reason you don't talk to the plagued. You don't want what we've got. Don't, please. I could get into a lot of trouble. That's kind of you to say, I suppose. But I don't need help. What I need is to understand my own folly. Company always tells us weak spirits lead to weak bodies. If I didn't want to fall sick with plague, maybe I should have worked harder. Maybe I should have taken more pride in my work. Fucking weird. I really <clears throat> wish you wouldn't say those sorts of things. I told you once already. People could be listening. I'll fucking kill him. I'm feeling a touch faint. If you don't mind, I'd like to be alone for a spell. Jesus Christ, no wonder they're sick. Okay, that's... that's good.
These fucking people are dead? I've never seen an outfit like yours before. You're not from around here, are you? It's the same conversation. They start asking you for some medicine. Come tell me. I'll set them straight. What the fuck? I ended up having to kill a lot of fucking people. I can feel it. Heard something outside the walls today. Nothing for us outside those walls. You want to know that? Oh, I can't see him now. I don't know you. Okay, that's fucking rude. We don't welcome trouble. I don't know what you're about, but this here is a Spacer's Choice drinking establishment. We're all loyal, hardworking company folk here. Am I that easy to read? Yeah, we've been having some problems lately. Loyalty issues, lines in the sand. I know where folk in Edgewater stand, but you, I don't know you. If you're gonna have a drink, I'd like to ask that you do it within the premises. <sighs> Can't have you taking drinks over to those deserters. Be right back, guys. I guess you have promises. Can't have you taking drinks over to those deserters. What deserters? Traitors. The lot of them. Bunch of folks decided they were tired of working and went out into the wilds to fend for their own selves. The town's already struggling to make quotas, even without that band of slackwits abandoning their posts. Bunch of lazy, shiftless rung leeches. Anyway, okay. enough about them. What can I do for you? That's do you me. now? And what makes you think Mr. Thompson wants to talk to you? He's a busy man. 
You want to talk to Mr. Thompson, try ignoring your duties. He'll summon you up to that great big tower atop the cannery, and you'll get yourself a proper dressing down.